do as you're told or else you're going to get smacked. Do as you're told and you'll get the good thing that you want. Online, on YouTube, on the forums, we say covert, but actually in the literature, it's fragile. Or sometimes it will be described as vulnerable. And they're saying, wait, there is a type of narcissist who's fragile, who's vulnerable, who will show weakness, who's not the alpha male, the alpha female uh, top of their class. They'll actually be uh, vulnerable and they'll actually promote feelings of vulnerability. When we're talking about fragile or vulnerable narcissists, how would we define them briefly? So within 30 seconds, the way that I would define somebody that you would be saying was functioning from a fragile narcissistic personality structure or strategy would be somebody who is cycling. So they're constantly in a cycle of elation and depletion. Unlike the grandiose narcissist who has a ready supply of narcissistic uh, supply, a ready supply of narcissistic supply, so they're on a fairly continuous steady burn of elation, the fragile or vulnerable narcissist is failing all the time to get that supply. He gets it, he loses it. She wins it, she loses it again. So they cycle between elation and depletion. So therefore, they're more moody, generally speaking, than the grandiose narcissist, but also you'll see them cry. You'll see them fragile. You'll see them vulnerable. They will say sorry. They will apologize. But ultimately, they're only cycling as they're trying to get back up to a position of power because everything that this personality disorder is about is all about power over others. The power of the grandiose narcissist might be to bully you or to reward you. It would be something that is done in the light, Yang style. You will see it coming. Do as you're told or else you're going to get smacked. Do as you're told and you'll get the good thing that you want. Because they have power. That's a grandiose classic narcissist. The fragile or covert narcissist doesn't have power. So they manipulate. They cajole. This is why I think why covert is such a popular way of talking about them is because they can't do it in a way that is direct. They have to be indirect. So this lack of power, this fragile structure that they're coming from means that they have to be intensely manipulative. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time and for your attention. I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Cheers.